Hello friends and welcome back to Hades. So last time we had a really really fun run with uh, Coronact, the heart seeking bow. We had nothing fancy but quite a lot of damage and it was really really fun to play with. Um, but before we start this time I want to go back here to Zachary's room for a moment because I was just taking a quick look at the prophecies over here and then I saw that we have a little indicator here to go lie down and so I think we'll start with a little bit of a small story segment here it is the dead of night or the approximation of it in the realm of Hades prince of the underworld Zagreus rises from a fitful slumber with much mischief on his mind mischief me well, I was just going to have a little look through father's stuff mm-hmm okay all is quiet at this time. Ever dreaming Hypnos put a spell upon the house, as Willful Zagreus had asked of him. All are fast asleep, save for the prince. It is exactly as he planned. Lower your voice, old man. I'm trying to be sneaky here. <laughs> it's always nice how Zagreus talks with the narrator. toward the stately throne of his lord father half expecting to be caught but ill expecting what he is about to find I said shut up old man he does not know exactly what he seeks he only knows that something always has felt off to him that he does not belong who is he really lord Hades never would indulge such questions so Prince Zagreus would find out for himself. I'm not listening. <laughs> he rifles through his Lord Father's possessions. There is not much of any import there. Ledgers and administrative parchment work. Correspondence from Olympus which he had ignored. No trace of any reference to his son. Ugh, get around freaking chair. But then there is the note. Written finally in a hand and voice, the likes of which the prince had never seen or heard. Hades, I can no longer tolerate my life here in this place. So I'm leaving, even if it kills me. I won't be returning to Olympus. If there is a place where I belong in this world, it must be somewhere between heaven and hell. Perhaps it's on the coast and has a little garden. Take care of Cerberus. I shall miss him. Persephone. Thus did Prince of the Underworld Zagreus absorb the contents of this hidden letter, written in his mother's hand. His mother's hand? My mother's hand? Wait, what? You're saying this Persephone, that she's my mother? But father always said that Nyx was... M that liar. He lied to me. They both did. All my life. Uh, thus did the prince discover, inadvertently, the well-kept truth about his lineage. Entirely by chance, this did occur. <laughs> oh, so nice. Oh, great. Persephone. The one-time queen of all the underworld. Where had she gone? And why? Engulfed by newfound questions and his rage, the prince decided to confront his lord and master. <sighs> you... why? You... you're... Nix, you're not my mother. All this time, you and my father, you... You lied to me? Oh, my dear child. So now you know. So now you know. But only half the truth. I can explain the rest, so... Please. It never was my wish to hurt you. Oh, father. Yeah, and so we know why Zach uh, how Zachary is in the first place got to know about his mother. 
and why he tried to escape the underworld in the first place. Okay, so, first of all, get ready for the next run, and I think, just because we can, let's unlock the last weapon that we never used. Melt on the twin fists. No, it's not it melt on the so twin so fists. Let's try it. Yeah, very right. Exagriff. So what exactly happened with the formerly pink window over there? Now it's got these sinister orange flames and an enormous pact of punishment hanging ominously over the exit. Father stopped by. Pal, I don't know a thing about it, honest. I was just minding my own business when all of a sudden, wham! I get hit right in the back. I fall to pieces, no idea what's going on. When I finally come to, the window job was done. As likely an explanation as any, I guess. Okay, so, about this new weapon that we have. It's also, like the bow, a ranged weapon. We can hold X to fire, but at some point our ammo will run out. You see at the bottom that we have 12 shots in a magazine. We'll automatically reload when it's empty, or we can quick, more quickly reload while it's not empty. And then the special attack is this grenade launcher, and that's pretty much it. The main gripe that I have with this weapon is having to reload all the time, because you see, if you're at two points of ammo, you will stay there unless you manually reload, or then you run out of ammo. And this happens so often at the exactly wrong moment that you don't have any ammo left. But yeah, let's see how we can fare this time. For starters, I think we'll begin using the Shattered Shackle again, just because, to get it out of the way, and take a quick look at the Cathoic Coin Purse that we got from Hypnos last time. We can use this once to get a little boost of money, and then replace it at the next opportunity, and we will keep the money that we got. It's a very nice little thing to have. So, I think now, we just go ahead and stay with the same conditions for the Pact of Punishment. Because I don't want to overdo it. We'll later unlock some more stuff. Family. Oh. Death is your only family. Death and I. Best get accustomed to the both of us. Hmm. So we'll, we will get another uh, mechanic who gets stronger later. I will keep the higher amounts of heat for that time. None can endure an everlasting winter's chill, young Zagreus. Not even your father's lifeless servants there beneath the earth. Winter, that's when it's cold or something, right? <laughs> yeah, Zagreus doesn't know what winter is, right? Um, all normal rarity. I think... Freezing enemies could be a nice thing with a ranged weapon, or to keep them off our hide. Yeah, let's do that. Hopefully that will be very good. Yeah, I already noticed how I'm struggling with remembering to, to, to reload all the time. One nice thing about extra grip though is that when enemies are spawning you can already launch a grenade in that direction so when they spawn they immediately get damaged that's a really nice thing and i hope you will get a good boon for our special at some point Also, the grenades from the grenade launcher, when they dodge, when they bounce into the into the wall or another obstacle, they will be reflected, Time to collect. and that can cause some very interesting interactions, indeed. A bit of max HP up that early can never be bad. And you see, the grenade launcher actually does a lot of damage. Hmm. 
So that wasn't too bad. Let's get a bit more health. I can't wait to get a decent Daedalus upgrade because the Daedalus upgrades actually some of them for for extra grip are very nice for its usability and quality of life. Okay, some more gemstones. I don't really want those. Yeah, but being able to slow down the enemies actually is quite helpful. Yeah, when the enemies clump up like that, the rocket launcher, the grenade launcher actually does a lot of damage. Oh, Poseidon! That could be very, very helpful. Wow, okay, so many lasers. Oh, come on, thing, die. <laughs> One shot less in the magazine. Secret shall be safely guarded in your hands. Mortal damning secrets. Yeah, well, that's foreshadowing something, right? Okay, 129% damage for the special. Mmm. Yeah, I think we want that. I think that will be very, very nice. Yeah, now we can use our normal attack to slow enemies down and keep them in the area of our special and deal a crap ton of damage by doing that. Hopefully this will stay feasible for the future, but until, uh, for now I'm actually quite stoked. Something useful to buy. Yeah, maybe we'll invest into some gemstones and that's it. Oh, and we got some more money. I think uh, we actually are good on time as well. Yeah, that's what I mean with this freaking gun always running out of ammo at the wrong moment. There are indeed... Or there is indeed a, a Daedalus upgrade that increases the amount of ammo that you can have, I believe. To like 18 or something like that. And that's something that I always like taking. Yeah, this clicking sound will be something we're very familiar with at the end of this run. Wow, dude, you've got a lot of HP. And more of that. Sorry, but single enemies with a lot of HP. <laughs> Game, what do you think? Doesn't really seem like it's working, right? Yeah, so this seems a lot more like it. But fortunately, the grenade launcher just made quick work of those, both of those skull nests or whatever they are called. Nice one. Some nectar. And we have a good amount of money, so let's go to the shop.
a random boon. Yeah, why not? To see you. Hmm. Okay, Aphrodite. Hmm, life gain chamber rewards are worth more. That early in the run, that could be very, very helpful. We did not have the passion dash until now. But I do actually think this will not be the best of choices now. Let's take life affirmation. And then get a bit more max HP. Talk to our good mate, Karen. I'll just have a look around. And we have something here. River Styx flows infamously through the underworld, offering the boatman Charon expeditious travel from the realm of mortals to the lowest depths, where many of their shades reside forever. Too bad I can't just take the ferry to the surface. We're not yet at the boss fight, and we've only got three minutes left. I think we'll need to speed up a little here. Oh, not more guys. Uh, always running out of ammo. Okay, another shot, but now we don't have enough money. So let's go and get this boom from Aphrodite. For free. Muscles and bravado, that one. I'm glad you're not the type. Aphrodite's eight. Epic rarity. Yeah, this can deal good damage. I think the the if you just use it for charming, it doesn't actually deal any damage. But yeah, having a little damage boost against the boss could be very helpful. So, two and a half minutes for the Furious boss fight. That should be feasible, right? Hope I didn't keep you waiting, ladies. You mess with Tiss, Red Blood. You mess with me. Get it? Oh, I didn't see that blade vortex down there. That was bad. Okay, first phase. And I should really use the cast. Because you do extra damage if the cast is stuck in the enemy. Almost forgot about that. Oh. Okay, second phase. Bit unnecessary damage, but not too bad as of yet. Yes. Very nice. One minute to spare. Not too bad. Not too good either, but not too bad. Titan's blood. And we're off to Asphodel. I ought to lock you up in Tartarus. Okay, we absolutely need to get rid of the Shattered Shackle. It doesn't do anything anymore. So what do we want to do now I would actually like to get some more boons from Demeter but we don't have her keepsake yet so maybe hmm more stuff from Poseidon could be nice hmm. Aphrodite I don't actually know I don't even know what which god would we, we would like some boons of now, so maybe we just take the cosmic egg and hope to get another good boon. Maybe updating our 
special damage from chaos at some point. Let's nice let's help. do that. And then updated rar upgraded rarity for the next boon we find. Why not? Do we want to sell something here? I don't think we do. So let's go ahead. Let's go up. Yes. Okay, ten minutes. Oh, this heat. For us for the fishing point. And there's a fishing point. Nice one. I think that's just the rare fish from Asphodel. Flame Eater. I should really watch out to not miss any Chaos Gates. I probably already missed one. So many of those guys, and they are so quick and so hard to hit with the grenade launcher. Okay, actually did work out. Not too bad. And a hurry spoon, yeah? There's a lot of stuff Hermes could give us that would be very, very ri nice right now. Ooh, hoo, hoo. But those armored guys aren't for sure. Yeah, that was a good hit. I also do like the fact that with Poseidon's special boon here, the grenade launcher does this big amount of knockback. Where's the Last guy. He just kept himself out of all of the fighting and waited up there until everything was done. So we would waste a lot of time waiting for him. Thank you. Actually took quite a lot of damage during that encounter. Congratulations to you for that. Congrats. The secret's safe with me, of course. The others here, they think you're still at it. Though I guess you are. Okay, auto reload. Faster regeneration time for our cast. Upper stream wouldn't be bad. 15% greater evasion. Hmm. Yeah, I think we take that. If you don't stack it with other sources of evasion, it, it's not that... that fantastic, but... I think it's the best of the choices that we have. So let's do that. Okay, shop, Daedalus. Daedalus upgrade would be nice. Probably better than going to Dionysus now. I do like Dionysus with uh, using the... The adamant rail. It's actually a very nice combination because of the fast attack speed that the thing has. You can uh, very easily uh, apply good amounts of hangover with exegrip. But I don't want to exchange any boons now, and I don't think the other things that he could give us would be that fantastic. They could be, uh, to be entirely truthful with you there. 
Because on the last run, I think having one or two boots from Dionysus was absolutely very, very nice. Okay, something good. Attack is faster and more accurate, more ammo. Yeah, Flurry Fire is a very nice upgrade. Special becomes a rocket that deals 80 base damage. I'm not entirely sure. I think this is actually not fired in this in this arc. I'm not entirely sure. Special deals plus 300 base damage in a large area. It can hurt you. Huh. Okay, this would make our special deal so much damage. Hmm. Flurry fire is the safe choice here. <laughs> it is the safe choice. Hazard bomb is ah come on why not? <laughs> um, I think we want to have a chaos gate and the A of Lamia here because we can go to the chaos gate without paying anything, and I think. Out of these choices, we want Poseidon. It's the witch's circle. These witches again. Holy moly! That's a big, big AoE! I will really have to watch out to not get hit by that at some point. To be honest, the damage is absolutely fantastic. Tidal Dash, Razor Shoals. Okay, so our big, big kaboom rock, uh, grenade launcher would then also rupture enemies. Ooh, yeah. That's good extra damage. Yeah, let's take that. Ocean's Bounty was also... In my view there. But I think we... Just to get better for this run. We had to take that upgrade. Yeah, let's do so. Okay, death strike deals more damage, more money. Attack deals more damage. Okay, if, if we do that down here, we can't use our special or we get hit. I think we take the extra money? It's really not that big of an upgrade, but... I really don't think we can fight four encounters without using our special. With only the attack. Yeah, let's get the extra money. And some more keys. Hello? Anyone home? Yeah. 550 damage. We one-shot those guys <laughs> with our special. Yeah, okay. If it is not for the armor. Gotta take that into account, obviously. Yeah, a bit of HP. That's what I want to see. Actually, really, really nice. Um, what do we do here? Not enough money. Some more max HP is nice. We can profit off of Aphrodite's boon that we got some time ago. And we actually are good within the time limit. And I think five minutes will be more than enough to kill the Lanerian Bone Hydra. You should also try and keep the cast inside of the Hydra. Deal even more damage. 
Two hats already gone. Ha! <laughs> nice! Oh, and some more HP down here. Okay. For the rest of the heads. Not finished yet. Oh yeah, I hit myself there. I think it was the first time though. Which is actually not too bad. I was expecting to do a lot worse there. and some more HP for us. And that should be it, right? Yes! Wow! <laughs> it's really just like, I have a rocket launcher! And it's working out quite nicely! It was a quick little run through this area. We managed to get ahead of time a lot more. Go on and yeah, try. healed back up to almost maximum. And now, hmm, do we keep the cosmic egg? Maybe we can get another boon from from chaos. We could also get the Castonic coin purse or something like that. But yeah, w why not just keep this one? Frost Strike, Great Evasion, Tempest Flourish. We do need all of those. And we actually don't want to buy anything of that. So, to the Elysium it is. Yeah. <laughs> so far, I'm actually having quite a lot of fun with this run. Let's slay some heroes. Maybe it's got something to do with me not having to rely on the... The normal attack of the weapon. <laughs> Too much. Yeah, see if you need to, to kill enemies with only that here. You can get overwhelming quite quickly. But like that? Yeah. I don't have a care in the world. And actually, these shield guys are quite a lot more easy than with other weapons as well when using the adamant rail with the grenade launcher because they still can block those as you saw but it's actually not too hard to position the explosion behind them and by that ignoring the shields completely I think there was a fishing did I hear a fishing spot? No, I didn't. Oh, I was misled there. Maybe get an upgrade. An upgrade for Poseidon Spoon should give us quite a bit of bonus damage, right? I almost hit myself again. Just forgot that I can hurt myself. That one fully I didn't even notice someone was down. I'm actually not paying enough attention here, right? Okay, still not too bad. Power of Olympus. Frost Strike upgrade, Aphrodite's 8 upgrade, Razor Schultz. Mm, I think of these probably Razor Schultz is the best. Shop or Hermes? Let's go for Hermes again. I 
I really shouldn't get hit by those things. I actually have so much time and space to dodge and don't have to look at the enemies at all. Just fire a grenade and then look at where you're dodging, man. Wow, so many shots in the air there. Not too bad. More dashes. That sh sounds really, really good. That we don't need. Yeah, take an extra dash. And maybe some more gemstones. We don't need the health. I really have loved to, to buy a Chaos Gate there. And maybe we take another Daedalus upgrade. Attack deals damage in an area briefly slows foes. Okay. Again, the flurry fire. And the attack bounces to additional foes with the ricochet fire. Actually, I think the ricochet fire could be the best because we could then use our attack to slow more enemies down then. Yeah, let's take that. Heal up for the bit of damage that we have taken and then max HP to 40 is... Okay, I believe. So maybe we go to get this Poseidon Moon here. Yeah, that boss went down really, really quickly. I like! It's not really, really nice, uh, like with the cast from, uh, from Dionysus, that you can lob the grenade over such obstacles here. Blood shot. We don't have a cast yet. Wave pounding. Booms with knockaway effect. Deal bonus damage to bosses. 30% more damage with our grenade launcher to bosses. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's the good stuff. Oh, I missed the fishing spot. Oh. Always watching out to not miss those. And then something like that happens. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. Ooh! <laughs> Thing bouncing off that... Off that pillar there. Almost... Almost got me. Click, 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 click. Ah, uh, hate that sound. Wow, that's not a big wave. Yeah, and the extra dash all's already coming into. Yeah, coming in very handy. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> no, you're not rearming. Ha! Managed to get him! Oh, there's another one. Wow, not too bad. That was a fun fight. And I think we go to that guy here. Maybe he will finally tell us his name, huh? Oh. I indeed want to destroy all of those things right here. Oh, come on. Just tell us who you are. Okay, we didn't use Death Defiance yet. 
Getting health back. We are actually at quite okay health. Detect dealing more damage. Not that helpful. But probably the best of all of those. Oh, Poseidon and Demeter. Let's take Poseidon first. Breaking wave. Slamming foes into barriers creates a watery blast. We didn't have that until now. God gauge charging up faster when taking damage. We have not yet used Aphrodite's aid at all. And I think this could be a nice boost for the final fight against Hades. Breaking wave wouldn't be bad either. With a big knockback of our special. Let's take boiling point for now. You grow long in years. Perhaps you shall learn better judgment as to whom to trust and whom to never, ever disrespect. Wow, she's mad. I'm sorry, Demeter. So mad. Wow, don't stand in that in that vortex there, man. Did I mention at some point that I really hate those armor cards? Wow, that was a really tough fight. Took a lot of damage there. At least give something good. Dash inflicts chill. Hmm. When all foes are chill afflicted, they are 10% slower and decay, meaning they take damage every second. If there's only one enemy, that can be quite a bit of extra damage. Let's take that. Yeah. These are all very, very useful. I really don't want to sell them. Maybe we go to the shop. Because I think this will be the last thing before the boss fight. Yeah, and we can have a bit of health there. Let's take that. And we can take the boon and heal up. Uh, Arctic Blast. Applying 10 stacks of chill causes blast clearing the effect. A bit of extra damage from our main attack. Yeah, why not? And then heal up, and we are a good health. And I think this should be more than sufficient to defeat the champions. Five and a half minutes on the timer, on the clock. Big crowd, huh? And where do you think you're going, fiend? Thought you might scoot right past Asterius and myself without a fight. No, on quite the contrary. I've been under no impression that avoiding conflict is an option here. So say your piece and let's get on with it. You, hell spawn, shall not traverse that gate behind me whilst my compatriot and I equivalently live and breathe. Prepare for death. Okay. Wow, that was a quick charge there, are serious? I really didn't expect that one. Oh, oh! Really wanted to dodge that. Seriously, Asterius, can you quit all these old rushes? It really hurts. <laughs> like, really hurts. And those also do hurt quite a bit. Let's just use that to get rid of the Minotaur a bit quicker, because I'm not that convinced our health will stand 
for the rest of all of these. Okay, first one down. Hopefully this is the end of me taking all of this unnecessary damage. to watch out a bit to not lose death defiance and we should be all right right let's play this a bit more passively and use the grenade launcher and we are fine nice wow only 50 hp left though yeah our biggest fan <laughs> i really like that small detail of the one shade that's a fan of zacharias okay i think we do exactly what we did on the last runs Get the evergreen icon out to have a bit of an extra edge against Hades. And then hmm, maybe we sell the life affirmation. It will probably only trigger once more. There's, normally there is a chance on the Temple of Sticks to get at least one HP up. But 45 gold. Yeah, let's let's take the gold. And also the darkness here. <laughs> yeah, healing up a bit. You know what? Just to be safe. So close. In the bag. So now we probably run into the Sator Sack on the very first uh, room that we go to. And we don't need the fountain. And it was a complete waste. But hey, what do you know? Maybe we also, uh, also we get poisoned. I take a lot of damage there, and then we are really, really happy that we had this bit of extra HP and did not lose Death Defines because of that. So, for now, let's take the POM upgrade, and then after that, maybe Dionysus or Poseidon's Boom. Wow, these guys do have a lot of HP. They actually don't die to one shot of our grenade launcher. Who's next? But I do think it's working out okay for now. Do we all only deal five damage to ourselves with the grenade launcher? I think it's five damage, right? I would have expected a lot more there. But maybe this is a fixed number and does not depend on the boons that you have and so on. It actually seems like that is the case because if this would in any way be reliant on the on the boons and the bonus damage that we have on our special, I think this would be dealing a lot more damage. Wow, that thing has a lot of HP. But that was it. Actually, not too bad. We used the, the traps there a bit for our, to our advantage. Nice one. Oh, those things. Okay, two levels upgrade. <sighs> Razor Schultz, Wave Pounding, Aphrodite's 8. Aphrodite's 8 will not deal more damage through the upgrade, so I think we indeed want to upgrade the Razor Shoals even more. Oh. Inside the filth encrusted layers carved into the looming edifices of the underworld lie such terrible abominations that not even Grim Lord Hades is inclined to speak of them. 
This gigantic German head deserves a lot more credit, if you ask me. Okay. What do we take now? Maybe, indeed, Dionysus. Maybe we can get something nice, like reduced damage rate on low HP, or something like that. That could indeed be very, very helpful for the boss fight. Probably more so than anything else that Poseidon could give to us. There we go. Okay, lots of small vermin. Another thing where I am very happy to have the ricochet shot indeed. I think we're actually very well equipped right now. But well, obviously it could be better because it can be better every time, right? But yeah, we're sitting pretty. We do have a good amount of time left, I believe. And if we don't struggle to find the Sator Sack too much... We should be good on our time limit. Oh, there's a lot of golden vases here. Golden urns. And a bit of poison as well. Oh my god, that's a lot of enemies! Come on, get out of my face! Nice. Oh, Sag, what happened last time, man? It seemed like you were rather close, but then we couldn't see you anymore from here, and now you're back? Well, give another go. Attack inflicts hangover. Mm, yeah. I was saying that would be good, but... I think indeed, though it's normal rarity, positive outlook with 10% damage resistance could actually good. do more of a difference now, I believe. All of the golden urns, but don't waste too much time. Uh, now, maybe the extra HP? Then we'd be above 300, which is quite a nice number to be at. <laughs> you really gotta watch out in these close encounters with these big explosions, but it's actually quite feasible, I would say. I'm actually quite stoked that we did not get one specific upgrade to our second Daedalus, because if I had had the option, I would probably have taken it, because there is one that you fire three smaller grenades with your special, and I think this would have been absolutely horrible in this place. So for now, what do we take? We could take the Aphrodite upgrade and a POM, or we could take the Hermes upgrade. I don't think we want to take more HP. What would be better? POM upgrade and Aphrodite. Aphrodite could give us, like, taking reduced damage when we are near enemies, or the... Her dash could be very, very helpful, or her cast in order to make... Uh, Hades weak and take a bit less damage. Maybe this is better than relying on Hermes to give us something good. Let's let's try that. Pleasure doing business. Passion dash. Yeah, I think that's what we want to take because then we can inflict weak to Hades while we are fighting him without actually having to, to look out for it. By use which we would have if we would, were taking the crush shot, for example. We have never taken the passion dash yet. 
And two more upgrades. Passion Dash. I don't want to upgrade Aphrodite's and also level six Razor Shoals. It's only four more damage per tick. But probably still the best choice that we have. Yeah, let's get it going. Seven and a half minutes. Persuaded fearsome Cerberus to get out of his way. Should be more than enough, I believe. Bye for now, boy. You're not going to stop me. It grew distinctly colder just as you arrived. So Demeter has been in contact with you then. That witch. Tell me how much she knows. What? I don't... Wait, this everlasting winter, it's her doing, isn't it? Why? Don't mortals die when it's cold? Sounds like a lot of extra work for you. Then you are ignorant. Keep it that way with her. Lest you risk everything you understand. The consequences would be far worse than a foul stretch of weather. But enough talk now. Yeah, that's a very subtle nod to what will happen in the future here, but I don't want to spoil. It's really interesting how he how he asks about Demeter there, right? And he wants to know how much she knows. Oh my god, our normal attack doesn't really deal any damage to those skulls. You're still protected by the Evergreen Icon, by the way. I don't know for how many more hits, but... I am actually quite happy with how this is going till now. Yeah, being able to slow him down and stay in the in the area of the blast there. Actually quite helpful. Oh, that was bad. Whoop, not do not get hit by those. Thank you. Instead, hurt yourself with your big mortar. Did you see? I think the the animation of Hades summoning his his wretches there was quite a bit longer because he was frozen so much, right? I got all these skulls here. That's why I wasn't attacking just a second ago because I wanted to watch out to not take unnecessary damage from all of these explosions. Come on, just a bit more for the first phase to end. There he is. Yes. You strike at your own father. What choice does that leave me? Yeah, it's not like you started the whole thing here. I actually don't want to run from this. It's really nice to be able to just lob grenades over the snow and hit you with those constantly. Oh my god! We got through that pace so quickly! Wow, that was a lot of damage. 
Another two and a half K for him. This is going swimmingly. I think again we'll be able to defeat him without indeed using a single death defiance. And that's it for you, Hades. Nice! Nice! You cannot escape. None of us can. Wait, none of us can? Can't mean death because gods are immortal, right? So what can we not escape from? Why you Or does he mean our inevitable return to the underworld because we will die quote unquote up here? Yeah, that was a really, really nice run. It wasn't very quick. 31 minutes of clear time. But still. Very, very nice. For the first run with the Adamant Rail, I'm actually quite stoked. Did Exegriff just shudder? Yeah. And we get some more story now. This will be quite the long episode. We are already above one hour. Oh, and a fishing spot. Nice! I think this is the most rare fish in all of the game. We will get a nice bounty for that. And while we're here, we can also take a quick look at the sunrise, right? I really like this vista here. But let's not linger and go to our mother. I'm here. You're back. Mother. So good to see you again, Zagreus. Since last you left, I couldn't help but think the worst about what happened after I had left. Or soon before. You mentioned Nyx. You don't suppose that she and Hades wanted me out of the way? I just don't think that can be. Though let me ask you, how long did you know Father? And Nyx for that matter. Did they seem trustworthy? Yes. I knew them long enough to have decided yes, that they were trustworthy. As much as anyone I've ever met. But I also know never to be trusting to a fault. I have to consider the possibility I was deceived. Especially since neither of them is being forthcoming with me even now, right? And yet, I have this feeling something else is going on, Mother. The way that Father speaks of you, the way Nyx speaks of you, I think they care for you. <laughs> well, they have a funny way of showing it, I think. Your father, so... You have to get through him each time you visit me? I do. Mother, what if... what if Father thinks that he's protecting you? Have you considered that? Protecting me? Why, Zagreus, what do you mean by that? As you can see, I can fend for myself. Well, uh, you're from Olympus, aren't you? But the gods, none of them seem to know you're here, so... What? How would you know something like that? Zagreus? Ah, oh, curse the fates. You're leaving me again. I... I won't be long. Uh, yeah, Zachary's uh, got a good hunch there. He's on the right path. On the right train of thought, so to speak. Okay, so let's wrap this up. Causes got you once again there, didn't they? Well, you show them next time. Would you do that for me, huh? Yeah, we'll show those natural causes. <laughs> sure. Everything is as it always was. Ooh, what does Father have to say here? Quite a mess you've created, I must say, Father. After being of no help whatsoever when it comes to disentangling it all. So this isn't the place to talk, right? No, it most certainly is not. Though I take it it shall not be long before another of our private meetings, then. Count on that. That's for sure. 
There's a good boy. Yeah, very good boy. Oh, please. You should pet him more as well, father. After he deserves of it. Inconveniencing you too much with all the visits to the temple lately, boy. Say, how do you get back? Charon giving you a lift. Thus asks the prince his question of the guardian of the gates of hell, knowing full well the multi-headed monster keeps a wide berth at the river Boatman, as to all with any sense. <laughs> just kidding, boy. Did the narrator just call us senseless? Hey, tell me something, sir. Any rumors swirling about the house regarding the outcome of a certain interaction I had with my father recently? Involving a great deal of violence. Because I'd like for everyone to know, I won. I wouldn't know of what you mean there, lad. For there are certain subjects so forbidden here right now that not even rumors can take hold. But just between us for the time, congratulations. Truly. Thank you, sir. I didn't know whether I had it in me. As for the other bit, I'll keep it quiet then, for now. Probably shouldn't be tying my sense of self-worth to praise from friends, acquaintances, and strangers anyway. Yeah, that's a good piece of advice that Zacharias has there. Don't tie your self-worth to praise from strangers. From friends? Yeah, maybe a bit. Indeed, lad. They shouldn't be your friends if they are not, indeed, having quite a good opinion of you, right? Anything I can do to help you find your muse, mate? I fear my muse has long since lost to me, my friend. Though truly, thanks for asking. I suppose she must be out there somewhere still, since I once traveled across this land in search of her, and found her then. But that was quite a while back. Wait, you found her? What happened? Well, this was back when I was still alive, you understand. Your father, why, he doesn't care for anyone to leave this realm, and basically now I'm stuck here as well. Not seen her since. And I'm not much for travel anymore. That's... I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you for letting me know. Hope you get to see her again someday. I appreciate the sentiment, my friend. Though please don't worry about her or me. I mean, we're dead. We're fine. Yeah, being dead is fine. That's a nice sentiment to have, right? But if you're dead, you don't have a care in the world. And we do actually have enough diamonds now. Oh, that is nice. Claiming gemstones gives us extra money. Claiming nectar gives us a random pom upgrade. I don't actually know if we can already use Fated Authority. I think the HP up from picking up darkness will be the most useful out of all of these upgrades. On my authority, I'd like it if you did this job for me. Is that all right? What is it that you're all about? Okay. And after that, do so. You are to clean the rafters once again and prune the gardens thoroughly. By then, it should be time to tend the kitchens and sweep the lounging area a second time. Y yes, right away. Poor Dusa. Oh yeah. Nyx is giving her a hard regimen. Let's see what we can get for our fish. We had some good catches there. Please take these, will you, Chef? Wow. Seems fair enough. Titan's blood. And a few keys, which we do need some of, so I'm actually stoked about that. I've come for questionable deals. Hmm, we can exchange. An Ambrosia for 500 darkness. This actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. We will need some Ambrosia later, but in the long run, Ambrosia is actually available in more than enough quantities. So I think, yeah, here's the Ambrosia. Let's take the darkness for one Ambrosia. Could be very, very helpful. And then we have one more little thing to grab here because we bought the adamant rail. 
You get 60 gemstones for that. Ancient legendary weapons there. And that's it on the fated list. Anything we can do here? We still don't have enough keys because we all just spent some of those for the adamant rail. Let's get the last rank of boiling blood so we can deal 50% more damage with enemies that have the blood crystals stuck in them. And I think that should do it, right? Or maybe... Yeah, the, the damage from behind bonus is so cheap. Let's just get that as well. So we have all of our upgrades. Now we need more keys in order to unlock more of the upgrades to invest our darkness in. That I think. But I think for now, let's end this episode. It was a very fun run. So my name is Dominic Bonsai. I'm your friendly little neighborhood tree. I wish you all the best. Stay safe, stay hydrated, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.